The Patriots should have a tough test this week as they get ready to head to Miami to face the AFC East leading Dolphins. I'm Meredith Gorman, joined by our Nesson Patriots beat reporter Dakota Randall. Dakota, that Patriots win over the Bills last Sunday was a morale boosting win. It seemed like they gained some confidence and really needed that one. But how do they keep that going, especially up against a tough Dolphins team? Well, it's going to be extremely tough. I mean, obviously the Patriots struggles in Miami even dating back to the Tom Brady era, are well documented. It's always a difficult place to play. Now, you know, the, the one good thing is they're not going down there at the beginning of September when it's like over 100 degrees. It's, it's you know, it's later in October. It's supposed to be around the low 80s, which is still going to be very hot, but it's been hot in New England this week, too. Oh, so yeah. it's, honestly, it shouldn't be that big of a deal for them. 80 degrees right now. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's not going to be that big of an adjustment. But the problem, of course, is stopping that Dolphins offense. Patriots defense did a decent job of it in that first game in week two. But I think really the more you went back and watched that game, the Dolphins could have done anything they wanted. So the Patriots, you know, the, their defense is going to have to replicate what they did against the Bills. And then on offense, it's just got to be the same formula. Establish the run, avoid the big turnovers. Mac Jones can't get back to throwing picks and, and also succeed on special teams. All three phases, if they can do that, they have a chance to win this game. Absolutely. We heard guys say that who came to the podium today before practice. But looking at this Dolphins team, speaking of practice, Tyreek Hill missed practice on Wednesday. He was back out there on the field on Thursday. But is there still a chance that he doesn't play on Sunday? Because that would be obviously a big break for the Patriots. Well, the, what we were hearing coming out of Miami yesterday sure made it seem like he wasn't going to play. You know, the players were talking and kind of in, in terms that made it seem like he wouldn't be able to go. You saw some of the national reporters saying it's looking likely that he won't be able to go. And then the reports are he's out there today and he looked just like Tyreek Hill. So I'm going to proceed with the belief that he's going to play. And obviously that's a huge variable for the Patriots. Now they've always been maybe the best team in the NFL at containing Tyreek Hill. But at some point, you know, something's got to give there. And you've got to imagine Tyreek Hill is going to eventually have a big game against the Patriots. It looks like Jalen Waddle is going to play too. Um, so it's going to be a tough test. But if he's at all limited in any way, that's obviously great news for the Patriots. But it looks at this point like he's going to be able to go. Last week, the Patriots team was super banged up. We saw the injury reports on Wednesday and Thursday having 20 players listed. How is things shaking up on the injury front this week? Better, better. I think yesterday's injury report was down to 12 players or something like that. Uh, there were three players added, uh, including Ty Montgomery and Calvin Anderson. Both those players were not out at practice today. Not a huge deal, right? Calvin Anderson's not even been playing, and Ty Montgomery's really just a special teams player at this point. But they weren't out there. But on the positive side, Keon White, rookie defensive lineman who missed last game due to a concussion. He was back on the field. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, he's been up and down during his rookie season, as you'd expect. But without Matthew Judon, you know, the Patriots need all the pass rushing help they can get. And I still think that when Keon White is healthy and when he can get into a groove, he could be a huge pass rushing force for the Patriots. So getting him back on the field in this kind of a game, I think, is very important. Big game, another chance for the Patriots to hopefully keep the momentum rolling, improve from that 2-5 and five record. Make sure to follow along with Nesson for all of your Patriots updates before Dakota and Zach head down to Miami this weekend. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.